Hey everyone, Armac here with part 15 of my I Am Setsuno walkthrough. In the last episode, we fought the Time Slave and we freed Hidbury of monsters, at least for now, and Kier got magical powers and joined us. So now we are actually going to be um, heading on with our journey, but first I do want to make sure that we're equipped with the best weapons. So for Kier, we've got the Libron Staff. And then I think Setsuna has an upgrade. Yeah, the Shining Star. And we should be good to go. So now we can just head on up here to the Twalisk Mountain and begin our climb. Now, Twalisk Mountain is just like any other place. It's very straightforward in the dungeon style. Oh no! The Toot Hoot Oh, and it fleed. Whatever. Oh well. At least that's one less enemy. So, um, it's like I was saying, it's pretty straightforward. We've got more hoppies here. We're going to actually have more of the, um, are they called Vespas? I forget the name of those foxy people. Um, we're going to have more of those. And it's just going to be very straightforward. There are going to be a couple times where the path appears to branch off, but it's not really going to do much. Um, it's kind of going to be a, an illusion that we have options. So here we've got a crystal lettuce. And then if you go to the north a little bit, you can see these. These are upgraded foxes. They are actually very difficult. There's three of them. I've tried fighting them twice now, and they just decimate. So I recommend not going there just yet. If you feel strong enough to try it out, hey, save first. Um, go up here and get the treasure chest with a cabin. This is pretty much a tent um, from like the Final Fantasy games. If you use it, it restores HP and MP to the party members, which is really good. Ooh, we got a singularity, Garden Goddess. Super awesome. I'm still a little confused about the singularities. They are very random, but... But I think they only apply to this specific fight and only have a chance of triggering once you enter momentum mode. So, if only they would appear on boss fights. Alright, let's get rid of this hoppy, and we can move over. Now, this is going to be also like um, Morbrise Mountain, in that you're going to have these secret walls here that you can, that are marked by these two little pillars, just like this. Just walk through them, and you can get through the, the path. Now, here's a cutscene. Sir Ender. I wish to speak to you in private. Please come alone. I shall be waiting up ahead. Hmm. Is something wrong, Ender? Let's take a rest. I don't feel unwell, but resting is fine. It's unusual to hear you say that sort of thing, Ender. Aha! I know what it is. Huh? What? What is? Come on. Let the man have his dignity. The water's different in different places. This sort of thing is bound to happen on a long journey. It is funny imagining you all in a cold sweat underneath that mask of yours, though. Go on, hurry up, and do what you need to do. Um, sure. Yeah, that's it. Bye. And it's Mystery Man. I must say, I could not believe my own eyes. To what end are you accompanying the sacrifice on her journey? Are you waiting for a chance to execute your mission? You are not going to tell me that you have switched sides, are you? Depending on the circumstances, we may end up having to cross swords. I would advise you to think carefully before answering this question. Why have you not killed the sacrifice? Um, there's no need to kill her. There is just no need. What an odd answer. It is not your place to decide whether or not it is necessary, Sir Ender. That is for us to decide. Were you reluctant to commit the grave crime of sacrifice murder? Is that it? Or perhaps you have developed a personal attachment to her? Why must the sacrifice be killed? I don't care about meaning. Because my master has ordered it. That is all I can say. Even if I myself were reluctant, I cannot go against my master's orders. It does not appear that you are daunted by your task. However, that only makes me wonder all the more why you have not yet killed her. 
She's already destined to die. I don't want to talk about my wants in this part. Perhaps that is indeed true. The life of the sacrifice is destined to come to an end in the last lands. Her death is inevitable, regardless of whether we or not we take action. Even if we do nothing, the sacrifice will die. Thus, there is no need for us to go out of our way to kill her. Is that what you wish to say, Sir Ender? Uh, exactly. Again, I don't want to talk about my wants. If the sacrifice is to lose her life regardless. It is certainly true that whether or not we assassinate her, the end result shall remain the same. I came to you with this mission, Sir Ender, because I was ordered to do so by my master. Dot, dot, dot. However, it is certainly true that if the young lady is already prepared for death, then why? No, no, please pay me no mind. Let me ask you one last question. What do you intend to do next, Sir Ender? Oh, uh, I want, I want to see her journey through. That sounds better. I take it you shall not go back on your word. Dear me. Even if it was on orders from my master, I am loath to do this sort of thing. Very well. I shall keep the matter of the sacrifice's assassination to myself. However, please remember one thing. You and I are now complete strangers, Sir Ender. Even if we should meet again, our lips shall remain tightly sealed. Now, if you will excuse me. That was a long trip. You didn't get attacked by monsters while you were washing your hands, did you? Finally! I'm sick of waiting! Come on, let's go! Move it! Ender, is something wrong? It's nothing. I'm gonna be a little cold right now. It's nothing. Oh, I see. What's the matter? Aha! <laughs> Ender said something to you, did he? No, it's not that. He didn't say anything. Nothing. Um, I'm right here. Alright, break time's over. We don't have time to be hanging around like this. So let's get a move on. So if you go to the north where we just talked, you'll see there's the locked chest. You probably saw it in the cutscene, but that's about it. If you headed to the south, you can progress through the, the mountain. And, uh, these, these creatures keep finding me. Okay. First it was the Toot Hoot, and now it's these children. Okay, I need to remember their names again. V is it Versa? I said Vespa before, but I'm thinking it's... Is it Versa? Versa, yes. So I'm just going to do my standard Cyclone, and then I can attack. Whoops. I meant I forgot that I wasn't in Momota mode. Boom. Done. Alright, and it looks like, ah, Setsuna leveled. How nice of you, Setsuna. And we can go downward to continue on, pick up an old broken flute, and then head through this mystery cave, or hidden cave. Now if we keep going, we will find an Archangelic Tear Talisman. I'm not going to equip it, though. And then we can try to surprise these verses. And I'm just going to go for it. Boom! Yes. Cyclone, and attack. Cyclone is just super awesome. I love that attack. Now, the, the creatures in this area are not going to give us a whole lot of experience, so I wouldn't recommend uh, grinding, especially when we're going to about to actually come up to a, a new zone that has creatures that give us actually pretty decent experience. So we're just going to head on through this and not care about grinding. Shaboom! Oh, I killed one of them. Let's try to get rid of the other two. Both are equally weak. Done. So with those verses down, we can continue on. Just f Now we're actually doing our descent. And pick up this antique silver timepiece and attack some more verses. And if you get the upper hand, you can get rid of them before they start casting their annoying ice magic. Shaboom, shaboom, shaboom. 
destroyed. Owadi, Nana. Okay, now we can keep going. And this is the exit, I believe. Yes. So now we're on, now we're to the other side. Now the first thing we're going to want to do here on the northern frontier is go down here, not not on the same side of the bridge, and get the fog tomato. Now we can cross the bridge. We'll come up to this really interesting structure here. Um, let's go in front of it so I can get the name. It's the Aparth Ruins, but we can't, if we go inside, we can't actually do anything. There's a locked door that has the same symbol that the locked chests have. So I thought that was interesting. We can get the Black Corget instead and then head on down here to enter another zone, the Floberg Waters. This is where we're going to go since the ruins don't really get us anywhere. And, oh, the crab saw me. Rude. That's fine. I'll wait. Usually, these guys are actually really slow to attack, by the way, so sometimes it doesn't matter if you, uh, Spikehoon, if you get him or not. Spikehoon's down! And look at how much more experience these guys are giving us. Yay! Alright. Now, again, this place is very linear. I still have yet to encounter anything that's not linear. Okay, we got an ice school kelp and a cutscene. Looks like we're gonna be walking across ice for a while. We've got no guarantee it won't crack, and if we fall in the sea, we're done for. I've been here once already. Did you make it across? I fell in the sea and almost died. I gave up after that, obviously. A wise decision, I'd say. It's gonna be hard for anyone to get across here unless they really know what they're doing. There should be a village near here, Royberg. Maybe we'll be able to find someone there who knows how to get across safely. Let's go there and hire a guide, because I think crossing by ourselves would be foolish. Yeah, I agree. That'll be the surest and safest way. Yes, I think that's the best way to make sure we'll all get across safely. Agreed. Alright, it's settled. Let's head to Royberg. Hopefully we can find someone to help us get across. So, as you can tell, Royberg is of the south, based off where they're looking. Ooh, we've got some more spikoons and a new upgraded walrus, or Walumpa, called the Balumpa. <laughs> and they're destroyed because I am kind of overpowered. Not really, but kind of. There's been a decent progression with enemies and the strength, I feel, in this uh, this game so far. Oh, to the right here is our Cloud Rock Salt, and then we can head on down through the pass and encounter more enemies. Hopefully good. We were able to surprise them. I'm just going to keep using MP because I know that eventually Ender will level up. Oh, there he goes. Done. All right, get the treasure chest, which is clearly obvious up here. Valiant Poem. Okay, I'm actually going to switch up some Sprint Knights because I actually like this Valiant Poem thing. I'm going to get rid of Returner um, in exchange for Valiant Poem, filling the ATB gauge when defeating enemies because Ender is doing all their defeating for the most part. Almost. And then we're going to give the Support Knight of Returner to Knitter because it recovers MP with when damage is received. And I think that with that really goes well with Provoke. So that's what we're going to do for now. At least that's what I'm going to do for now. Feel free to do whatever you want in your build. You know, experiment with other things. By all means. Okay, combo, Cyclone. Going to destroy some Spikehoons. Feeling good? Feeling strong. Really? <laughs> Alright. Ooh, and we got a Flux. Uh, Cyclone gets tech power. That's fine by me. And just making sure that we don't miss any... Oh, there's one up here, I think. There it is. Eternity Laver, whatever that is. If I even said that correctly. And we've reached the end. That's super awesome. So now we can just head south, make sure to pick up this Hermit's Ginger, and then the town will be to our right, but if we keep heading south, we will encounter a purple wall. And this item. A Sunset Citron. And then we can head over to the village. Which is right here. Royberg, like they all said multiple times. And when we enter, cutscene! 
What's going on? There ain't a soul to be seen. You think they're all hidden? Like in Kier's village? What? So the same thing's happening here? The monsters really seem to be changing rapidly. Still, it's too quiet here. It could be that it's been destroyed by monsters like Serendale. What do you think, Ender? Um, I think the village is undamaged, so we can't just go ahead blaming monsters just yet. Yeah, now that you mention it, it doesn't seem like a village that's been laid to waste by monsters, does it? Which means maybe everyone is hiding somewhere after all. We, well, shall we try having a look around the village? Maybe the villagers are all just hiding away somewhere. Uh, that's what Kira just said. Okay, so we're gonna get a couple things before we truly explore the village. Well, we don't actually go very have to go very far. Let's go up here behind these cabins to get three high ethers. Super awesome times. Then we can go back down here, hug the left again because we don't want to start a cutscene just yet. And if we follow the wall here to the south, we can get to an ingredient: the all old silver coin. Don't want to eat anything with that in it. And then if we head to the right, we'll have a cutscene and a fight. Well, mainly just a fight. I can see someone. Look over there. Looks like you had to, a close shave, kid. And we've got to fight five of these spikoons. But they can all be destroyed. Once I get my MP. There we go. Spikoons, be gone. Woohoo! Oh yeah, overpowered. I love cycl I Cyclone? Is that right? Gosh, I already forget- I'm, I'm the worst at forgetting. I'm gonna get to have Alzheimer's soon. Ugh, if I don't have it already. I don't remember being diagnosed. Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Who- who are? There's no need to be scared. We're travelers. Are the rest of the villagers alright? Everyone was taken. Taken? To the cave. Cave? The Black Whelm cave near here. The monster took them. Bah, just what we need. The whole village has been kidnapped. Let's go and help them. I think forgetting about them is cold. If we all work together, I'm sure we can rescue them. Good grief. This journey's been one step forward, two steps back the whole way. Two steps forward, two steps back. We'll bring all the others back safely. So you just stay hidden until we get back. All right? And we got a nod from the little boy, so we're good to go. First, let's head past this fence and by this little marshy area, and we can get another ingredient, the Snowbell Mushroom. Yay! Now we are free to leave, so we just need to head back up, and then we can head to the right, and leave this abandoned town. That looks like all the other abandoned towns. Now we just need to head across the bridge here, and you can see the cave up there to the right, but first we're going to head down, and we're going to get another ingredient here on the world map, the Blizzard Bean. Now it's time to go to the cave. Dun, dun, dun. Done.